WBGFM, locals talking to locals. Good morning to the chair of the Parapara Umu Romantic Community Board, Johnny Best, who's a very busy man, but uh, he's got time for a couple of minutes to speak to us. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, Nigel. How are you? Oh, Happy well, New Year. Yeah, th- same to you. Oh, it's the first time I've spoken to you this year, isn't it? Yes, That's right. Yes, yeah, indeed. Right, uh, redevelopment of the Romati Pool building. We done anything further on that one, Johnny? Um, well, that's all part of the discussions of the long-term plan, okay. um, and uh, so I mean that is yet to be decided. Okay. No thoughts. Uh, what might happen to it? Well, there have been uh, talks that it should that uh, could possibly be deferred as part of a long-term plan process. Yep. Um, and uh, you know, with uh, money tight at the, at the moment, uh, yes. it, it's quite a possibility. Okay. Now, the Raumati South Residents Association were concerned about the speed through the Raumati South Village. That was going to be looked at and be completed by, say, March. Has that been in action? It is in action, and it's uh, been something that uh, you've um, been well aware of for the last sort of, well, coming up six years now. And uh, there is um, some consultation going to be happening um, this year, and implementation hopefully finished by June this year. Okay, okay. So it's under action. That's the most important thing, isn't it? Yep. So there's uh, formal consultation starting next month, uh, March and April, um, and then council will make a decision in May, and then the implementation of the new speed limits will be happening in June of this year. Sure. Now, the um, Paraparaumi Beach Saturday Market, they might have to move, mightn't they? Is that uh, what I've heard? Uh, you got any news on that? Yes, I have talked to um, one of the organisers down there, and uh, they are sort of looking at moving at some stage, or they're going to have to at some stage if there's uh, further development in the car park there. So uh, they have, I mean, I have sort of uh, suggested that they might want to go into the McLean Park once there's some... It, it's been developed a bit further, but um, obviously the, the weather conditions sometimes can make it a little bit uh, difficult for that for that area. Yes, that's right. So there's no sort of time. It just depends on when the development takes place in the car park there. I guess that'll be the case. Yes, and uh, I'm uh, by the sounds of it, there could be something actually happening in there this year at some stage. All oh, right. Okay. Fair enough too. Now the Kotawa net uh, basketball uh, problem that was a bit noisy. You've got that rectified now, haven't you? Well, I mean, a, a basketball court is always going to be noisy, I, I, I think. But uh, there have been some mitigation um, put in place there to sort of make it less noisy, if you, uh, if you like. Okay, so they put up a new backboard. I think that's uh, helped it out just a wee bit, hasn't it? But you're not going to yeah, stop the bouncing noise on the on the tarmac no, itself, no, are you? That's right. But there's a lot of noise that comes off the backboard, and um, I think it's a perforated uh, backboard, which sort of would absorb a lot, lot of that noise rather than the sort of bang against the, the board. Right. And you got the plantings at Poplar Avenue under control. That was going to be something that was going to be done fairly soon. I suppose you've got to wait for the right time to do it. You mean the uh, the poplar trees on Poplar Avenue? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's um, it's uh, um, part of Gr- uh, Greater Wellington Regional Council, and, and there is going to be a, a discussion document and, and their draft plan. So that's actually um, something we're going to have to discuss with uh, Greater Wellington Regional Council. Okay. And the Harker Road extension is that part of your board's worry, or is it nothing to do with you? That's Capity Coast District Council. Well, it is in our board area, so um, I'm not quite sure when that's going to be taking place, but um, I'm sure we'll be briefed on it. Yeah, good. And, of course, the Performing Arts Centre. That's going to be all happening from this uh, month on. 800000 we need, uh, Johnny. Have we got a cheque there that you could help out with? <laughs> I don't know whether anybody's got 800000 <laughs> spare in their back pocket, but um, my understanding is that there has now been an agreement with the... Um, with the college and uh, there's going to be access, uh, community access for the facility. Yes, it's magnificent. Yes, magnificent. I mean, there's a lot of work have, has been done, but this month is all the building erection going up with the a lot of the stuff's been uh, b- uh, made off site so, and brought in. I think there's 41 truckloads of stuff to come in, so there's going to be a bit of activity with trucks around uh, Romedy over the next uh, month. Yes, I guess so, and um, I'm sure they'll be uh, avoiding the, the heavy times of uh, school school traffic and things like that as well. Okay. And you were going to be looking at a site to, uh, for the late Reverend John Murray put up a memorial. Is that going ahead, or is that...? Yeah, um, my discussions with staff are that they're still um, 
still working on that, and there are some discussions to be had with um, Ewe regarding the placement of that as well. All right, OK. When's your next meeting, Johnny? Our next meeting is on the uh, next Tuesday, actually, um, the 13th, at uh, the, the Hockey Turf. At the Hockey Turf. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock start, is it? 7 o'clock, yep. Yeah. OK, Johnny, I'll let you get back to your busy job again. Thanks for your time this morning. All right, no worries. Thank you, Nigel. Johnny Best. 106.3 BGFM.